big data, AIoT, automation, and all kinds of smart technologies are changing healthcare as we know it. So to give you a better idea of what it looks like right now, Medical Taiwan and the Taiwan Digital Health Industry Development Association present to you the new healthcare, new lifestyle pavilion. 18 products from 13 companies. You get to see a great variety of new services you can use at home or in the hospital. Coming here, you can experience the latest technologies that will change your lives. So follow me right now, let's find out what they can do. All right, our first stop is MetNet, a digital health and information sharing platform. And uh, I'm very happy to be joined by Ivy from MetNet today. Hello, Ivy, would you firstly say hi to everybody? Hi, everyone. My name is Ivy from MetNet. Yes, and uh, we're very happy to have you with us today. And uh, Ivy, would you start by talking to us a little bit more about MetNet? Our company, MetNet, is established since 2018. And our mission of the company is to change the healthcare model through advanced technology. Mm -hmm. So what we have bring here is the services, telemedicine, mm -hmm. online consultation service. Okay, wow. So uh, we can't wait to find out more about this uh, online telemedicine consultation service from MedNet. Okay, so uh, what's special about your service? Actually, our platform uh, already cooperate with 2,200 doctors. Wow. And we served over uh, the clients from over 20 countries. Mm -hmm. We also designed three different consultation methods. Okay, before that, I just want to let our viewers know we have some actors here. Like, we have a doctor there. <laughs> okay, and a patient here. They are doing, what, what is it they are doing? Online consultation? The third method is the virtual consultation. It's the most welcome mode uh, from for our overseas clients mm -hmm. because it will provide a 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one virtual consultation with doctor. The clients can pre-upload their medical reports okay. or an image so the doctor can review this report and give a detailed and personalized uh, information to, doctor, to the patient. Okay, so uh, thank you to Ivy for sharing so much with us today. Mm -hmm whether it's via written inquiries or phone consultation or virtual online consultation. MedNet is making sure that you get your medical attention anytime, anywhere. Thank you to MedNet, thank you to Ivy, thank you, thank you so much. We're going to our next stop. All right, we're coming to the second stop here, Huijia Health, that has a patented fiber optic sheet that could be used in hospital beds, wheelchairs, cushions, and many other different places that can detect and also monitor vital signs of the patients. That is very important for the hospital and also doctors to provide a better care. And uh, joining us right now is the CEO, Xu Zhen Yang of Huijia Health. Hello, Ms. Yang, and uh, would you please introduce Huijia to our viewers? Hi, I'm Su Zhen Yang from Huijia Health Lab. We are the AI smart care solution provider for elderly and babies during the serious COVID-19. Our core technology combines AI to fight the pandemic start from Taiwan to the world. It is selected with Moderna and AZ as another bold innovation in COVID-19 Innovation Report 2021 by UNEX. All right, for our next stop, we know in this new world of digital technology, we really cannot live without robots. Next, we're going to have a look at the robots from MSI. And uh, I actually have seen these two big guys a few times already on the showground today. Next, to give us some more information about the robots from MSI, let's welcome the specialist from MSI, Betty. Betty has a bodyguard following her, okay. I want one for myself. I'm just wondering, what's so special about MSI robots, Betty? There are four features. First, AI navigation and precise sensors. Use the new generation LDS module and Intel Real Sense 3D camera for self-identifying mm -hmm. method. Avoiding barriers easy and fully autonomous navigation. Second, zero data angle sterilization and disinfection. Mm -hmm. Equipped with 10 super gray high power output UVGI light to able to eliminate the COVID-19 pathogenic effectively. 
the battery allows continuous up to three hours. Oh, three hours. To okay. Achieve full disinfection. Disinfecting the area in two ways. With people around, the leader will close and act as an air disinfectant. Without people around, the leader can be open to reveal all the UV dry lamps to disinfect the frequently touchable areas. Fourth, remotely control real time interaction. Connect to Wi Fi BT to achieve AOT and web service to enable remote control experiences. And the sense specifically commands to help lead directly mm -hmm. when there are multiple machines. Yeah, these features let it become a good helper to against the epidemic. Yeah, for sure. The world needs more good helpers and also fighters like MSI robots to fight against COVID-19. We would like to thank Betty for sharing with us so much today. And uh, also thank you to the buddies behind our back, these very smart MSI robots. Okay, thank you, Betty. And uh, we are coming to our last stop. Let's go. All right, very soon we have come to the last stop of our tour here at the Pavilion, Imitech, a leading smart hospital, smart healthcare, and health promotion provider in the world. And joining us right now is Jason Miao, Overseas Business Director. Yes, Jason, would you say hi to our viewers and introduce Imitech a little bit? Hi, everyone. My name is Jason, and I'm the Sales Director from iMedTech. And our company, iMedTech, is the Internet of Medical Things Solution Provider from mm -hmm. Taiwan. We provide both hardware and software, excellent solution from hospital, outpatient to inpatient to smart work, medication safety, patient safety, and smart operating room to our client worldwide market. Yes, and uh, I know, Jason, you got two products that you want to share with us today. So uh, let's start with this one here. Yes, yes. I want to introduce this one is our newest Internet of the Medical Scene Solution Provider, the IOMT, I mean the Telecare Solution. Because the COVID, the telehealth is very popular right now. So how we avoid the patient come to the hospital frequently. Mm -hmm. So we want to use the telehealth to help the doctor. They can still monitor the patient even they didn't come to the hospital. So right here is a private cloud system. We integrate from the vital data like blood pressure, body temperature, or SpO2, all information together. And right here, we can support like the scope, the here scope, or the scope scope and also the object uh, camera you can share the ECG picture okay so quickly can mm -hmm. you share the information to the other side the doctor for example like the patient at the urban area yeah. they come to the small clinic mm -hmm. the doctor can help to connect it with the city the main medical center mm -hmm. and get the second opinion to help them for this kind of situation yeah we already um, deployed this system and central part of Taiwan and also go to the Vietnam market. Wow, yeah, So okay. we believe it will be a very useful solution in the future smart hospital. Okay, definitely. And uh, we have one more to go. Okay, next we are looking at a uh, huge... Is it a cabinet, Jason? Yes, yes. Yeah, what is it? Okay, this is our ADC solution. It's mm -hmm. for the medication management. As you know, there are a lot of the dangerous medication or yeah. high price component in the hospital. Mm -hmm. How we got to managing? to make sure the right person collect the right medication at the right time with right volume. That's very okay? important. So yes. we use this ADC. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to have the authority to log in. Okay, you can use a ID password, you can use your car or facial recognition. When you log in, they have four functions. Collect medication, return the empty valve, supplement or inventory check. All the process will be recording in our system and we will connect it with hospital, the EMR and his. So we'll be monitoring all the medication cycle inside the hospital. Wow, that was very impressive. We hope to see more from Imatech already in Taiwan, Vietnam. Vietnam, Thailand, Nigeria. We also ship wow. from Nigeria. Okay, definitely. Uh, Imatech will be outreaching more to other overseas markets. And uh, thank you, Jason, for sharing thank so much with us today. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we are going to conclude our tour at this new healthcare, new lifestyle pavilion. Thank you once again. We'll see you very soon. Medical Taiwan, see you next time.